dirty dishes, muddy backyards, messy bedrooms. By the way, you should probably clean that this week. Germy people. And puppy dogs? The world is a dirty place, but your swab doesn't have to be. So wash it. In this video, we're going to learn how to take care of that nasty swab that's been sitting in your instrument case for the last 10 years. Whether your swab is made out of silk, cotton, an old handkerchief, or like mine, ripped up t-shirts, they can be cleaned. I know there are some people who just throw away their swabs and buy new ones when they need to, but that's wasteful. So what you're going to do, you're going to go to your sink, grab some sort of soap, and your swabs. That's it. This is the easiest thing to do. Get your swab wet with warm water, add some soap, and then just act like you're washing your hands. Now instead of just washing it for 20 seconds like you normally do with your hands, maybe wash it for a full minute or longer. This video is sped up just a little bit, so it seems like it takes a little bit less time, but it was about a minute worth of washing it. Once you get all the soap covered all over your swab, you just rinse it off. When you're done, just hang it over something to let it dry. Now I know some people will buy those mesh bags and throw it into their wash machine. I've never tried it, so I can't vouch for it. This way I know it'll work. One thing I do recommend, never throw it in the dryer because your dryer will rip, your th uh, rip all of your swabs to threads. Now, how often should you do this? I like to say every few months. So think of once right before school starts, another time around Thanksgiving or Christmas, then again around Easter, and then at the start of summer. Another great time is whenever you notice the people around you are starting to catch colds and flus during that time of the year, well, that's a good time to wash them too. Now most of the time your swab's going to be okay because it, it'll dry out after each use, and that's good. But for some people who live in humid climates, you're going to want to do this a little bit more often. Brass players, don't forget, you can wash your instrument cloths too. Don't wash your polish cloths though, because they often have some kind of polishing compound in there, and it'll wash out that stuff. When you're done, just hang your swabs to dry and guess what? That's it. After it's dried, fold them back up and throw them in your case. So go clean your swab. Like right now. Seriously, I'm waiting. 